Melody, and I will be your host tonight, or well, today, for the IMAs, which is the Indie Music Awards, but also known as, from my roommate, the Hipster Music Awards, because once you see the artists that are going to be on the screen, I bet you you've only listened to maybe two or three of them. So, here we go. Our first category is Extended Player, which is EP, for all of you that don't know what EP stands for. And here are our candidates. We have Troy Savon for his album, Wild, and the interesting thing is he's a YouTuber who started out He's a South African that lives in Australia. He does a whole bunch of vlog type videos and he decided to follow his dreams and start doing music. And that ended up happening and it went big, so he's on this candidate list for sure. Then we have the band Honey, who is a new band. We saw them live, very good. They have a vibe similar to The Killers meets Foster the People, if any of you know who they are. Um, they're very, very easy, which is really cool. And they're on tour with The Neighborhood right now. And then we have the Japanese House, for their EP, Pools to Bathe In. The artist, her name is Amber Bain, and she actually got produced by the 1975, if any of you know who that is. So she works by herself and all the sounds and everything that's with her and some of the band members from 1975 as well. And then we have Laney, or L-A-N-Y, however you want to pronounce it, for their EP, I Loved You. And this EP came out more recently in the summer. And the reason why this is a candidate is because a lot of Southeastern students like them, and I couldn't think of a fourth one. But they're very electronic, they're very chill, they play one of their songs in chapel before it starts. So, without further ado, the winner for the EP is actually the Japanese house, just because wow. all of their sounds, she's very similar to, uh, if anybody knows who Imagi Heap is, she's, she's kind of older in the music business, but she's very electronic and her voice, is, like fun fact, I didn't know that this was a female vocalist until later in the game. Um, her voice has a very masculine tone, and it's also edited very differently with, um, I guess, auto-tune, but she wins for this song. Next, we have the greatest album in the running. And our four choices. We have Beach House with Depression Cherry. We have The Neighborhood with Wiped Out. Oh Wonder with their album, Oh Wonder. And Mickey Echo with his album, Time. Now, Depression Cherry has been in the music business for a very long time. And a lot of people don't know them just because they're not everybody's piece of ear candy to listen to. They're very ambient, and a lot of people don't know what they're saying. Um, then we have The Neighborhood, who is, they come in and out of the game. Their first album only had one hit single called Sweater Weather. And then they came out with a rap album that nobody knew existed because it wasn't on iTunes or Spotify. And then Wiped Out came out after they came out on tour for a second time due to popular demand of their fans. Um, and that just recently launched. So this doesn't have too much time to review that album. So spoiler alert, they did not win. Um, oh Wonder is also, they, they weren't really in the music business either. I don't believe they started on YouTube if they didn't make sense. But they are just a man and a woman who live in England. And they just started writing songs. What's unique about them is that they're all in unison. If anyone knows what unison means, they sing melodically, like just a different octave, um, which means there's no harmonies involved. So it's very subtle, but very relaxing, quiet tunes. And then Mickey Echo is an album that came out during the summer. He sang the song, he featured in Rihanna's song, Stay, if any of you know that popular song. He went on his own and he started doing songs for movies and stuff like that. So. His album is actually very inspirational and very good. But the winner of the album is actually Beach House, just because this is better than any other album that they've ever put out. And yeah, it's very ambient. Every single song tells a story, and their lyrics, if you look them up, are very deep. So I guess Depression Cherry is not as happy as that sounds, but it's really good. <laughs> yeah, cool. Next we have for the single track, and I don't think I chose a winner for this one. Oh well, I'll make it up. So we have The Neighborhood with their single, The Beach. We have Day Wave with his single called Drag. Neon Indian with their single, Annie. And Last Dinosaurs with their song, Evie. So, a couple of people that have been in the game for a long time in the music world is Neon Indian and Last Dinosaurs. And again, a lot of people don't know who they are. Um, they're more pop and their instruments are very much um, from like a recording, like from a booth. But not, a lot of them don't play their own instruments. Um, Day Wave is by himself, he's a solo artist, and uh, he has a really good single out, it just came out too, it's really good. And then The Neighborhood with the Beach, we saw them live, and this song 
live in particular blows away the recording because there's a lot of emotion in this song and the lyrics is, you know, tells a story, so that's good. Um, if I didn't choose a winner, yeah, so the winner for that one is The Beach by The Neighborhood, for sure. Now we have the duos. <laughs> so a couple of these you may have seen before on the previous slides. We have A Wonder, we have Purity Ring with their album Another Eternity, we have Beach House, and then we have Wild Bell, which has their single Giving Up On You, which just came out this year. Um, I already talked about some of these bands, so I'll talk about the other two. Wild Bell was another one I just didn't have a fourth choice, and I was like, oh, they have a new song in 2015, so I'll put them up there. So again, spoiler alert, they don't like um, then we have Purity Ring with their album Another Eternity. This one I really did want to win, but somebody else came oh. out of the running. You know who Purity Ring is? Yeah. I'm proud of you. That's awesome. Um, it's, a, it's a band and a woman, and they do a lot of cool sounds. Her voice is very eerie, but very high pitched at the same time. Uh, they sing a lot about anatomy, but not in a sexual way. It's, it's very interesting. Their music videos are very artistic, and the winner, though, is Oh Wonder, just because of how quickly they kind of went in the races and they came out very successful. Congratulations to O Wonder. For male artists, we have again a choice of on the wild. We have Kyle, who is an independent rapper, who knows who that is. He was also found on YouTube. We have Dive with the album Control and Day Wave, who previously had that single drag but with his album had case. And just for the sake of time, I won't tell you about all of them. And the winner is Troy Spawn. Uh, again, just because he was extremely successful from starting out with a YouTuber to getting millions of subscribers, going straight into the music industry and succeeding right away. Next, we have a female artist. We have the Japanese house. We have Melanie Martinez, yeah. Paul C, and Gabrielle Applin. So there are, a lot of these are really cool, and most of them are British. Actually, I believe Melanie Martinez is the only one that is in America. Um, I think actually Wolsey we'll might be from New Zealand or something, I'm not sure. But Gabrielle Applin is another YouTuber that got recognized. She's very good with her very chill tones. I don't know, singer-songwriter more than indie. Um, Halsey is a new artist who, I don't know how, but she swept, like all of these fans are basically crying over her and all of her quotes and songs are on Tumblr, they're everywhere. Um, but she, her, the vibe that she kind of gives off is more like, sexual and more, not really more about the music, it's more about the her artistry and how she can kind of get views through her videos like that, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but the winner is Melanie Martinez because she started on The Voice, and if any of you uh, want to know who this is, look up her very first audition for The Voice. She got picked on Adam Levine's team for Maroon 5, and she covered a Britney Spears song called <coughs> Music. And it was very impressive. It, she has an instrument. She has, I think, a tambourine tapping on her foot. She's playing the guitar. Uh, she totally you would never know it was a Britney Spears song. So she gets that. We're almost done here. Uh, we have the Under the Radar Award. And these are artists that are pretty new. Some Lux is actually not that new, but this album is new, and nobody recognizes the artistry that's behind it. Um, so we have Day Wave, Japanese House, Honey, and Sunlux. So I already talked about those three, and I just briefly went over Sunlux. Um, the winner, though, is Honey, just because, again, right away when they get into the music industry, they jump on board with the neighborhood and go on tour, um, also featuring Bad Sons. I was going to include them, but their last album came out in 2014, so they are not in the running. But this EP just came out, and it's very good. And they win that one. Okay, this is the last category. We have a music video. So, we have Sun Lux with You Don't Know Me. We have The Neighborhood with R.I.P. to My Youth. We have Sun Lux, again, with Changes Everything. And the 1975 that just came out with a single this year is Love Me. And um, interesting things about these videos real quick is R.I.P. to My Youth, uh, The Neighborhood always does their videos and interviews and pictures, always in black and white. And, uh, by popular demand, this is the song that was the most popular in one of the videos, so they did that one. For the 1975, I don't recommend watching this video, it's not inappropriate by any means, but it's it's strange. Like, if you don't know the band and you don't know why they wrote the song, it's it's weird. He's wearing makeup, he never has a shirt on, uh, he's, in, he's in a jacuzzi with all of his bandmates, it's, I don't know. 
but um, it's really cool. He's just kind of like, he's kind of bashing the music industry of popular artists. Like he has Elvis there, he has a picture of young Miley Cyrus there uh, at Sheeran, et cetera. Um, and then again with Sun Lux, I will spoil the winner right now. It's not the 1975, it's not Sun Lux, or you don't know me. It's not the neighborhood. Surprisingly enough, it's Sun Lux changes everything. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but what's moving right here, it seems really boring and like, oh, that's not even the band. It's just a lot of movements. Um, every dark circle is a tack, and they use yarn. So this is a stop motion video. Um, so if you see wow. the little dots everywhere, that's because they've replaced every single pin. So I don't know how long this took, but props to them, because that's really impressive. So without further ado, that is the end of the IMA.